The Louisiana College Wildcats are approaching the upcoming game against Mary Harden Baylor as just the next one on the schedule. However, the game carries a little more incentive as the winner will have the inside track to the conference title. And for the Cats, it will mean beating the crew for the first time. They're a great program, obviously, um, 12 straight years of, of uh, losses to them. It's time for somebody to step up and, and ring the bell and, and get after those, those crew. But, you know, again, they, they're, um, you know, it's a short list of people that have beaten them in 12 years. And, and uh, that's a credit to that organization, credit to their coaches. You know, they're a very established program, uh, but I told the guys it's the most important game because it's the next one on the schedule. The Wildcats control their own destiny and unseating the top team in the American Southwest Conference will prove to be the toughest challenge the Cats will face all season and will go a long way in deciding how far they can go. You know, in terms of what you'd like to be able to do postseason, it's very important because these guys are perennial postseason players and, and uh, it's always a measuring stick on where you are as a as a team for that season because you know that they're going to be um, you know in the elite nationally so it's a great measuring stick in terms of where where you are not only for a season but as a program. Head coach Dennis Dunn needed to find some consistency on offense and he challenged his senior running back Ryan Montague to carry the offensive load and Montague hasn't disappointed as he racked up 508 yards rushing and five touchdowns in the last three games. This is a team that he's got to carry, and when Ryan's on, the team's on, and, and uh, you know, it's as simple as that. The Cats will need their star running back to carry the load once again against the nation's top-ranked rushing defense as the crew have allowed just 34 yards per game. Being a number one rush D, I just, that's just stats on paper. I feel like in the team, we, can, we line up and we play together. I feel like we can't be stopped, so... That doesn't even matter to me. Ryan always plays against and, and rises to the to the competition, and, and uh, we know that they will be coming in to, to try to stop him. So, you know, I, I think Ryan will be up to the challenge. On the other side of the ball, the Cats will need their best game from their defense as they will line up against an offense that ranks number 32 in the nation in scoring, averaging 37 points per game. We're going to have to play physical, uh, play gap sound defense, and we're just going to have to play 60 minutes. It's going to take every single snap. We're going to have to focus in, play the game eight seconds at a time. Don't matter if they get 20 on one snap. we got to play the next snap. Got to have short memories this game. Got to play great fundamentals, tackle well, and just fly around. Reporting for Wildcats Media, I'm Spencer Chrisman.